It's a common problem among competitive programming contests to find a subarray made of signed integers which has the smallest sum. This can be done in more than one way, but let's take a look at the most efficient solution with linear complexity. To get to this solution we have to break the problem down into smaller pieces. We'll name the initial array values and let's create a new array and let's call it dp, which will contain the minimum sums of each subarray where the element at that index i is the last in that subarray. So the dp of that index corresponds to the sum of the minimum subarray ending at that index. What does that mean? Let's take it a step by step. Look at the first element in the values array. If a subarray would be created that ends with this element, the minimum sum would be the element itself. There's no element on the left side, so we say that the dp of 0 is values of 0. For every next element, we must take the element's value itself and we check if to this element we can attach the dp of i minus 1. We only want to attach the previous best solution if that solution happens to be a negative number. This will decrease the sum, which we are happy to do. We broke down the problem into one line, so we can easily find what is the minimum sum of consecutive elements which end at some index i. We just need to keep track of the smallest sum, just print the minimum of dp. This has been minimum sum of consecutive elements visualized in hundreds seconds, like and subscribe to support the series.